What's the creepiest scariest thing you've seen but no one believes you? I used to have a buddy that lived in the same neighborhood, a few streets over. One night we were having a couple of beers in his backyard while playing cards. I had some things to do the next morning so just before 10 I said my goodbyes and shoved off. It was a short walk, maybe 15 minutes door to door, so I never drove. Anyway, it was a nice night, uneventful trip. But when I got home, my roommate was coming out the front door, coffee in hand, and dressed for work. He gave me a funny look and said he thought I was asleep since my truck was in the driveway. I told him where I'd been and asked why he was going into work at night. That's when he kind of laughed and asked if I was drunk. We stared at each other for a minute and then he told me it was just after 5 in the morning and he was going in just like he usually did. In my entire life, I'd never felt more confused than I did in that moment. I could tell he was dead serious but I knew I had just left my friend's house. I checked my phone and sure enough 5 something in the am. My roommate left for work. I paced circles in the living room for a bit then called the friend whose house I just left. He groggily answered and confirmed I left at 10 the previous evening. I have no idea what happened during those 7 hours of my life and it gives me chills to think about it all these years later. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't tired. No one could have slipped anything in either of the two cause lights I'd had. No known medical conditions that would have caused me to black out, and nothing has happened like it since. I just don't know what happened to that time. I was walking to class from the dining hall on my campus when I saw lady yelling for help and banging on a window of a nearby building. Lots of people were walking past but I was the only one who seemed to acknowledge it. I went to the window to help and she told me she was locked in a room in the building and that she needed me to come in and open the door. Now, I have no idea the layout of this building and where she was located. So I decided to call campus security for help despite her pleading with me not to call them and to just let her out. I call them and when I hear them coming I go to greet them so I can take them to the window. I leave for maybe a maximum of 15 seconds and when I return with campus security she is gone. We can't see her at the window and campus security goes inside to double check and sure enough there is no trace of her. Campus security definitely thought I was crazy and I'm sure my professor thought I was full of shit when I explained to him why I was late. No one seems to believe me that this happened but I swear it did. Had my laptop in my bed just before going to sleep, not plugged in, on battery. Made an offhand comment on some website about how I wasn't scared of ghosts and didn't believe in them. Then I turned it off and went to sleep with the laptop beside me in my bed. Next morning when I try to power it on, nothing happens. But the laptop feels unusually light. That's when I realized the battery had been physically removed and placed in the kitchen. I was alone in my apartment and do not have a history of sleepwalking at all. When I was around 9 or 10, this guy who looked about 40 just kept being in every single public place I was in, with my parents or not. He was there. At the store? Yes he was there. Bought everything me and my family bought. In school? Yes. He was staring at me on the other side of the school gate. Out in the city? Yes. Following me in the streets. I told my parents so many times and they just ignored me and said I need to stop believing everything my brother says. Since my brother was really into creepy stuff at the time, he was 14. One day this guy just disappeared. The next thing I knew was that one of my friends kept seeing the guy everywhere. She many times pointed that the guy was outside the school gate watching her. I never saw him on the other side of the gate. Then she told me the guy disappeared after a few weeks. Then this other kid started telling everyone about the guy following him about 7 months past and I moved to another town. Still gives me creeps. I saw a panther sized black cat darting out of a water retention artificial forest near a school in the desert. Logically, it shouldn't be able to survive there but holy shoot I saw it. Animal control wouldn't let that exist. There isn't really food enough for it. And the summers get dangerously hot if you've got black fur. Must have been 4 or 5 feet long. It doesn't make sense, but I 100% saw it, and so did the friend I was with. Not quite sure how young I was at the time but it was probably between 5 8. I was in my babysitter bed at the time in her trailer park. It was 3am I had woken up because I had to pee. 
When I woke up I looked down the hallway to see my babysitter leaning against the wall like one of the stereotypical cool guys do in movies. And I made eye contact and I felt my body go cold because she was still sound asleep next to me in bed. I went under the blankets trying to hide and when I looked back she was gone. I didn't want to sound crazy so I've never told anyone. I just sat in her bed watching infomercials until 6am when she woke up. Never even thought about sleeping there again. I honestly forget how much this affected me until I started writing this. Really freaked me out man. Footsteps and banging in my attic. For about 2 months, almost every night I would hear from my attic, the steps are only like 5 feet from my room, small taps or footsteps. Then it gradually got louder to the point it sounded like an audible foot was pressing on the wood. I told my dad and he told me it was probably an animal that got up there or something. Thing is, my sister heard it too as her bedroom was in the same hallway as mine. My dad might have been right as it was completely gone after 2-3 months and right now at 2am. I don't hear it, and I swear to god if I hear it after I post this I'm actually gonna piss my pants. In the same room of my old house, I have seen a convulsed face floating outside my window. My brother has also seen it too. I saw the same face over a number of periods and it would do stuff like smile and float closer and further from the glass. Our youngest brother a few years later complained that he didn't want to play with the boy in his room anymore as he was getting too much blood on his toys. It was the same room. Not really creepy or scary but my parents went canoeing in the middle of nowhere with some troubled youth. While they were on the river their canoes capsized and people were having problems swimming and getting to shore. About 3-4 large men came out of nowhere and helped them all to shore then completely disappeared afterwards. My parents swear they must have been angels as there's no way they appeared and disappeared that quickly when they were in the middle of nowhere. I used to do this as a kid. But I'd hallucinate stuff like shadows arguing or corner of my eye people. I know the things I see aren't real and can't hurt me, but it still doesn't change the fact that I'm terrified shitless of them. The scariest one was reoccurring. It's more recent and I'm chalking up its creation to me being stressed out. It would perch on my table and watch me from across my bedroom. It's always dark but I know that if I can see it, it can see me. When I'd say something about it, everyone would laugh and say that I was nuts I was cursed. I haven't seen it in a few months and I dk if it'll come back. Didn't see it but heard it. My friends and I got a cheap set of walkie talkies from Walmart and were playing around with them in the middle of the day. There's a bit of silence as we're trying to figure out the volume and out of nowhere there's a male voice saying mayday 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 that comes through all of our walkie talkies and it definitely sounds like it from one of those aircraft headsets. We try to answer back but there's no response. I called non-emergency but they said there weren't any reports of distressed aircraft or ships and even if there were, they couldn't do anything about it. Alternatively, a couple months later I saw a plane with an engine on fire go over my campus but apparently no one else did. I grew up on a 2 acre home with plenty of trees and room for an 8 year old to run around. Our house also was heated in winter by a wood fireplace, so we would periodically cut down one of our own trees to save money. Well for about 2 years, there was a stump less than a foot tall near the house. And at least once a day, without fail, I would see someone standing on the stump. Usually it was out of the corner of my eye, but once or twice I looked directly at him. I always looked away quickly, cause it startled me and he was gone, but my sister says she experienced the same thing. Nothing ever came of it though. I spent one summer in high school living with my aunt and uncle and keeping their 7 year old daughter for them during the day while they worked. I was up late one night watching TV in the living room. The living room was right off of the kitchen, separated only by an L-shaped bar. I saw my cousin, out of the corner of my eye, walk down the hallway from her room into the kitchen. It was way past her bedtime, so I told her she needed to go back to bed. When I didn't hear her answer, I got up and walked around the bar and into the kitchen. There was no one there. I checked under the bar to see if she was hiding from me. And there was no one there, and nowhere else she could have gone from the kitchen. I walked down the hallway to her room, and she was fast asleep, snoring. So there was no way it was her. It baffled me, and freaked me out, because if I didn't see my cousin, 
who was the little girl that walked into the kitchen? Several years later, I was talking to my aunt and she nonchalantly brings up the ghosts in her house. I laughed it off and she said, no, I'm serious, we have a ghost, your uncle and I both have seen her and heard her, we call her giggles, because we hear her giggling, we usually only see her in the hallway before she disappears, all of a sudden, I remembered the disappearing girl in the kitchen, I asked her what her ghost looked like, she said she had blonde hair with braids and wore a white dress, my cousin is blonde, on the night in question. I thought I'd seen my cousin in a nightgown walk down the hallway, but apparently it was the ghost that resides in my aunt's house. 